Mercedes-Benz G-Class Review Overview What is it? Mercedes hasn't facelifted the G for a while. It's so old. Nobody's quite sure how many facelifts it's had, like the Land Rover Defender. This is a bygone era 4x4 designed when SUVs were built to go off-road. And indeed it does that rather well. Driving, what is it like on the road? With the most recent facelift, Merck tempered that the on-road compromise is somewhat, but it's still jostly and tiptoey. The steering needs a lot of lock before the G starts to track, at which point it weights up considerably, and soon after the nose gets rather vague as the front tires yield to physics often before the stability control has got a sniff of what's going on. But even so, it does speed and grip in a way that lets it keep pace with modern stuff without too much effort. Around town, the G feels firm, but beyond city limits, it's properly hard. You can see why this is. Merck has sought to improve body control by fitting stronger springs to limit roll and improve cornering ability. They work all right. But the trade-off is that the G hops and skips where say, a Range Rover wouldn't. The auto gearbox may have 7 speeds, but it's slower to choose between them, plus the engine is more raucous and less keen to respond quickly and accurately. On the inside, layout, finishing space. Inside, the gel and wagon still has the look and feel of a proper utilitarian vehicle. It's right there in the slabby trim and square-edged plastics, the lack of ergonomic friendliness. The way the doors have to be hurled shut, the roof guttering and dado rails round the flanks, and the careless width of the panel gaps. The overall suggestion is that passenger satisfaction and comfort weren't primary objectives. But otherwise this thing will outlast mankind. Owning, running costs and reliability. 34 miles per gallon for the 3.0 liter diesel and 261 gram slash km of CO2 or 24.8 miles per gallon for the 5.5 liter AMG V8, complete with 322 grams slash km of the nasty stuff. Also starts at nearly 88,000 pounds for the diesel, or 131,000 pounds for the AMG. So not cheap, then. Verdict, final thoughts and pick of the range. A bygone era 4x4. Designed back when SUVs were specifically for going off-road. Built like a tank, but on-road it's a different story.